And why should I work with you? You attacked me and accused me of murder with no proof whatsoever. Our mistake. You're clearly not the murderer. Why can't you investigate on your own? I hardly know anyone here. That's exactly why you can help me. Nobody will talk to us. To them, we're occupiers. The fact that we clear the streets of the infected and catch criminals, doesn't matter. What matters is that we eat their food and drink their water. But you, you're a pilgrim. There are many ways you can help people. And you're from the outside. They can trust you. They tried to kill me. Nah, look, we are your only chance. If you want to get to the center, that is. So, will you help me? I don't want to get involved in your conflicts. Look, if you have nothing on me, can I get out of here? I won't hold you by force. But remember, cooperation with the peacekeepers can pay off. seen a uniform like yours before. I'm a carrier. A carrier? What's that? I belong to the Carrier's Guild. I'm one of many. If there are so many of you, why haven't I seen your uniform before? We're discreet. We're entrusted with valuable information and therefore keep a low profile. Now your profile isn't so low right now. Indeed. Our headquarters are located in the center, and the only passage right now goes through the subway tunnels. The peacekeepers control the passage and aren't letting anyone in or out of the center right now. Until they do, I'm stranded. That sucks, especially since I'm in need of some information. I can't help you. We have a strict code of confidentiality. Only our guild master would be authorized to share information. And then he's the one I should talk to. Any other ways I can get into the center? Not that I'm aware of. On the surface, the border of the center is a no-man's land. It was devastated in a chemical attack, cutting this district off from the center. The air and ground are poison. Only the most freakish of monsters can survive there. Damn. Well, I'll have to find a way. Somehow. Good luck. Hey, Hakon. Are you there? Hey then, buddy. Good you're alive. Yeah, I got caught and questioned. Good. Did it kill you? Meet me outside. You must help us. Otherwise, there will be a rebellion. Help us in the investigation. We will help you with the bandits. I told you already. Nobody in the bazaar had anything to do with Lucas's death. Let's get you fixed up, okay? Hurt you, kid, did they? So, what did they want from you? If you'd been there like you said you'd be, I'm. 
Oh, oh, I did my best. I didn't know there was anyone else in the tunnel. Lucas's death is a big deal. They love this motherfucker like a father. Ato doesn't have Lucas's charisma. He's gonna have problems. Ader said he might let me through to the center, if I help him. What? What are you supposed to help him with? He wanted me to find Lucas's weapon, uh, Lazarus. Went missing from the crime scene. And he believes finding it will help find the killer. The Lazarus, huh? Fancy set of brass knuckles, right? So, we just have to find it. I declined. What? Don't want to work for those guys. I'm not the military type. Besides, he won't help me until the killer is caught. Then how do you expect to get to the center, huh? One step at a time, kiddo. Step one, find the Lazarus. Shit. I thought you were smarter than that. I'll find another way. Okay, maybe that's good. The PK respects strength. It's the only language they understand. Let's find those damn brass knuckles on our own. That way, Eto'o will get what he wants, but without taking you for granted. You'll have the upper hand. You'll have to let us through. Now... Now you're talking. I know a guy who trades stolen goods and other shit he gets from thieves. A fence? Part-time fence. Full-time scammer. An artless one, too. He's got half the city after him for debt right now. If anyone in Philidor is fool enough to buy a peacekeeper weapon, it would be him. What's his name? Hubert Kerbatsos. Also known as Half-Ass Hubie. Every day, he sets up shop in the nearby windmill and waits for customers. Probably selling booze and weed to the PKs. If you want to find the Lazarus, talk with Hubie. I'll chase down some other leads. Okay, I'll try and track him down. You'll see. Finding him will pay off for you. Hubert? No, not me. I'm waiting for Hubie too. So get in line. Got it. You know when he'll be here? Maybe in an hour. Maybe two. You never know with old half assed That said, he's got the best moonshine. So, worth the wait. Uh, nothing to do but wait, I guess.
Hey, you Hubert? Who's asking? A customer. Want to buy something. Hey, you're that stranger they wanted to hang, aren't you? Hey, Hubie, you got a special customer. It's that pilgrim from the bazaar. W wait, I just want to buy something. So, that was Hubie, wasn't it? Yep. Apparently had an urgent appointment with another customer. Shouldn't you be... Yeah, sure. Back on. He's running away. Nah, sounds like you be. Oh, wait a second. I see him. Uh. Arsenal's running to the northeast. Hakon, he's running away. Nah, sounds like you be. Oh, wait a second. I see him. Arsenal's running to the northeast. Faster, Aiden. Citizen, you almost got him. Hakon, he's not here. Ah, oh, impossible. I saw him right there. That little weasel must be hiding. Look around. Oh, wait, I see him. He's climbing. See that GRE building? He's climbing to the roof. Hubert! I just want to talk! Leave me alone! Don't hurt me! I don't know anything! About what? I haven't asked you anything yet. I don't know anything about anything, I swear! I'm told that you're a fence, hmm? A fence? No way! A reseller, maybe, but... I'm looking for the Lazarus. Yeah, I used to belong to Lucas, the late PK commander. Hey, don't try to tell me you don't know who Lucas is. Well, then I won't. Know anything about the Lazarus? Are you kidding me? Even if I'd been offered those brass knuckles, I would have refused. I'm not an idiot. That weapon is way too hot. 
Why did you run away from me? Because every five minutes someone's coming after me, man. Okay, I may have given people a reason to be mad, but I'll make things right. Soon. Eventually. Maybe. How did you know the Lazarus is a set of brass knuckles, hmm? I didn't say that. Come on. Everyone knew about Lucas's little love glove. He was always showing it off. If anyone thought I had him, they might also think I killed Lucas, which is bullshit. Yeah, but someone tried to sell it to you, right? I told you, I... Okay, fine. Maybe someone did, but I can't say who. Client confidentiality. Stop fucking around. Tell me or I... Her name is Maya. I met her in the tenement building at Meatpacking Square, near the old butcher shop. But I don't know anything else. Leave me alone. It overlooks some army barracks or some shit. All right, I can find that. Hey, hack on. Hubert said someone tried to sell him the Lazarus. Do you know a Maya? No. Strange, because I thought I knew all the women here. I'm headed to Meatpacking Square. The Meatpacking Square? Ah! It's a fucked up place. There are some barracks there the army set up in 23 when shit went south. She's supposed to be in one of the buildings that overlook them. Okay. Stay in touch, bro.
Hey kids, um, I'm looking for a woman named Maya. <laughs> it was so funny. Maya ain't a grown up. She's just a plain old girl. Hold on. You were the one trying to sell a PK weapon to Hubert? Yeah, but the jerk didn't want it. Got all freaked out and chased me away. How did you get a hold of a peacekeeper weapon? We all found it. Was wandering around with these punks and ran across a corpse. Happens a lot. He was totally dead. We searched him, and I took the brass who's a Watsits because I figured someone would pay a pretty penny for him. Maya, I need that weapon. It's very important. You expect me to just hand that brass who's a Watsit over? Are you nuts? The Hoozy Whatsit's real name is the Lazarus, and it belonged to an important PK. We might have a war if I don't return it. You could help us find a murderer. Okay, I'll give you this stupid thing, but for 500. That's a lot of money, kid. Of course it is. Life's damn expensive. I have to buy water. And a marker for my brother. He's turning 12 soon, you know. 
I can give you ten, and that's my last offer. Deal! Nobody wanted to buy it anyway. Hakon, I have the Lazarus. Cool. Get your ass to Eto with it. It'll make the perfect birthday present for him. Though I have no idea when that prick was born. I'll be near Metro Station. Okay. The essence of survival? What are you talking about? Want to find out? Just close your eyes. What do you perceive? Oh, something stinks. Exactly. The smell. Impulses going straight from the senses to the limbic system, triggering an emotional response. Memories. The well-being of the mind. But, uh, well, that smells like... Well, that smells like shit. What did you expect? What do you think people use as fertilizers around here? Too much information. Sorry. I sure hope you don't mean smelling like shit is the essence of survival. Of course not. I have this really exciting idea for a new fragrance. People are gonna pay a fortune for just a whiff. I called it, Turn Me On. And it's almost finished. I just need some scraps for the heart note. What do you mean scraps, for a fragrance? Oh yes, metal scraps. Ah, so Turn Me On will be an aphrodisiac for robots then. <laughs> Good one. You'll find out when it's time, if you bring me some scrap, along with some lavender. In return, maybe I'll let you in on my secret.
Aiden, didn't expect you to come back. Well, here I am. Wait, let's recap. I delivered the Lazarus and you let me through to the central loop, right? I believe that was the offer on the table, so yes. The answer's yes. That offer still stands. You help me, and I help you get to the center. Glad we're on the same page, because I found the Lazarus. I'll be damned. I was right that you could open doors we couldn't. Where's the fucker who had him? In Meatpacking Square. You didn't let him go, did you? That could have been the murderer. A, a girl had him. She's ten or something. She didn't kill him. Just looted the corpse. Stop. We'll get back to this later. Leave us. I did what you wanted. It's your turn. Get me to the center. Opening the tunnel to the central loop is beyond my pay grade, Pilgrim. Command wants me to find the killer. Ader, you promised! Cool down, Pilgrim. I keep my promises. First, take this. Token of gratitude. Ader, I have to get to the center. Get it? You're looking for someone, right? I want to go to the central loop, too. My wife and kids are there and I can't protect them when I'm stuck here. The tunnel will open when I find the killer. Is that clear? You can help me, or you can wait until I find him myself. I see traces of blood on the Lazarus's blades. Lucas managed to wound his killer before he died. Oh, bastard's gotta have a nasty gash. If you find him, you'll not only help me, you'll be helping yourself. <sighs> okay, do you have any suspects? The commander was murdered in the bazaar. There had to be someone from there. The people of the bazaar are simple folk. Why would they risk defying you? And that's why I want to discover the truth before the orders come down to use force. Besides, appearances can be deceiving. They want to get rid of us. They think anarchy is the key to building a new world. Well, there is plenty of anarchy these days. Carl is a faux pious hustler who brainwashes others with slick speeches. He says everyone's equal, but it's bullshit. You can't be a leader and an equal at the same time. I'll try to find Lucas's killer. Splendid. That's your ticket to the center. Head back to the bazaar. Is there anything else I should know before I go? Yes, as a matter of fact. But this is... Totally hush-hush. Word of this cannot get out. Sounds serious. Whoever killed Lucas took a little trophy, carved his tattoo right out of his bloody arm. They cut into his corpse? That is seriously fucked up. Yeah, seriously. Men found out Lucas was desecrated like that, they'd lose their shit. 
and it would be total war. I'm telling you this because if you find that little trophy, then you found the sick fuck who killed Lucas. Got it. I'll head out right now. 